I didn't really know what to expect from this anime other than it being really cute and something to do about stacking up defense and HP and all that tankiness in an MMO. But apparently, this is just gonna be really wholesome, happy vibes. It's, she ate a dragon. That's how she solved the problem last time. Every time she gets hurt, she can build some kind of resistance towards us. So I'm sure that's how she's gonna get OP. This isn't gonna be like a super edgy, dramatic show. No, we have plenty of anime like that. This is just like chill, happy vibes, and I'm all for it. Let's begin second episode. Oh, the new fit. The new fit. It already looks like endgame gear. No, these little monsters are kind of cute though, just like Mr. Rabbit from last episode. Shield attack, as in just... She just tackles them. <laughs> she just... She, just <laughs> she bonks onto them by throwing herself onto them with the shield. Special event happening. Dude, she's gonna make a name for herself. Yo, she's gonna pop off because everybody's already talking about this ridiculous girl that's like building up, like sold a dungeon by herself. She's completely new. This newbie that has no knowledge of anything is suddenly able to just like solo dungeon. Isn't that kind of a huge deal? That's what the message was, right? The group chat? It's time to pop off. It's time to become popular. <laughs> Go, is that a rock? <laughs> so, battle royale, meaning everybody against each other. But if no one can hurt Mabel, then she'll be the last one standing, right? Something like that? Gao! Oh, she drew that dragon bar so? Alright, our first prey. Welcome, challenger. I don't think you can damage her though. Am I overestimating Maple? I mean, just based on his voice acting and his design and his like this, I can already tell he's gonna get just destroyed. <laughs> Look at this dude! Okay. <laughs> okay, he's definitely not gonna do anything. <laughs> Pretty good voice acting, though. And nothing. This facial expression and the voice acting. <laughs> Wait! Did we absorb him or did he just get destroyed by hitting a... T that was like a... He hit the shield. Then he died. Really, you're gonna try to approach her after that? But you guys are also just gonna kill yourselves. The trio blazing brothers. Okay, dude. Here it goes. And nothing. That is really OP though. The AoE debuff of Paralyze. That's actually really strong. Bonk. It's a light tap. Bonk. Bonk. Alright. We're gonna... Oh? The shield gets more... Those gems. Every time we defeat a player. Oh, everybody's watching us. Oh shit. Wait. Everybody's watching and they're just coming to us. It's a little bit broken, don't you think? That's a hundred already? Hmm. Hmm. It's not it shouldn't be legal. I'm I'm <laughs> That was such a strong bonk with like a huge weapon. <laughs> it actually bonked off her head. They're doing like group coordinated attacks, really? I mean, do we have magic resist? I think so. Oh? That's the, um... That's the skill from the previous episode, right? We can use everything from the poison dragons? Okay, that is kind of ridiculous. Okay, taking any hits and like nullifying the damage is OP, but like, we got the venom dragon's skills. This is insane. I, I... Main character stats, man. Yeah, she doesn't attack. Yes, but like, who cares if they all come unto her? Like, she just sits there and everyone dies. Go! First place is pain. We're top three! Holy shit. And considering our level, that's gonna be huge, huh? Okay, this guy looks actually really strong, right? So these are the other top two players? Yes. She's not but a newbie, alright, this dude. He's about to get bonked, dude. Alright, just run into your death, dude. She didn't even try to block it. <laughs> Bonk! They all die so easily! None of them can take a single hit! And of course, the poison. She's actually so strong. She's so incredibly strong. AoE debuffs, AoE poison. No one can hit us. As soon as they do hit us, we just fucking bonk them and they're dead. She's like... And this is just episode 2. This is just episode 2. Has she already peaked? Is the rest of the season her just gonna be displaying her openness? Or... 
Is she gonna continue to get stronger? This is fucking... She did it, though. Our third place winner. We can't, like, win second and first place, right? It'd be too much. But, like, top three for a new player like this should be... Should, like, that's kind of insane. I took a pounding, but I liked a Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> She's so cute. I think everybody kind of like falling for her charms. Yeah, she's so like, even the guy with the helmet behind. That girl's like, this girl's like, really? Really, dude? A swashbuckler. Is this a new class I've never heard of? They evade their enemy and make their attacks. Hmm. Evade, but we don't need to evade because we have her. Yeah, we need like a, we need like a hyper offense class. But like, she doesn't understand. It's different. I I'm not sure if this is foreshadowing, but like, we'll never be in that situation. Because nothing can hurt us. <laughs> it's zero plays, no zero damage. Everybody's talking about her even more. That's insane. Yes, yeah, she is a walking fortress. Yes. The group chat's actually so funny. I, gu I guess that's uh, the game chat, huh? That is true. If you can just dodge everything. See, this is the mindset that I go into playing games. And usually it turns out really bad because in theory, sure, just dodge everything. Just don't get hit. Ha ha ha. But it doesn't work that way, right? You're going to get hit. And then if, you, if you're squishy, you just die. Maple is much more practical, but it's something that a lot of people wouldn't do because it's not as flashy or cool, right? But <laughs> I would just go all agility and stuff like that. But I'm wondering how useful she can be. Maybe I'm looking down on her. Yeah, she's too slow. You gotta carry her, man. Oh! So she becomes the mount for Maple. I was like, if Maple gets a mount or something, like a ride, some kind of horse, or I don't know, something to carry her around, it should be fine. But I didn't think that her friend would actually carry her. <laughs> okay, yeah, this works. This works. I'm kind of excited to see how she develops, though. Sally has to be probably like the opposite of Maple. Like, Maple's going all tanking sturdiness. Sally already talked her mind about how she wants to play the game. It's like, why raise HP if you would never get hit? So she has to be some kind of like super fast assassin or thief type. Here we go, though. Here we go. Some kind of Leviathan monster. I don't know. The music's getting kind of epic. Oh. <sighs> there it is. This is looking kind of scary. Jesus. That's actually terrifying if you see a big like, shadow thing underneath you, man. That's just a big fish. Enough damage or... Okay, but it's like a little chip damage here and there. Is it enough? Uh, I'm getting kind of worried for her. Um, and Maple can't really help out right now, right? I mean, we're doing okay, but this also animation super goofy underwater. <laughs> that was like a whole CGI for a second. But like every damage you do, it looks like a little chip damage. And now it's about to use some magic. Uh... Sally has a bunch of different like skills already though. Running out of time. I don't know. Maybe we should get out of here. Maybe we should get out of here. With the vision obfuscated like this into like a hyper beam. Hey, yo, relax. Um, it's not really fun in games anymore. She's still okay. She's still doing okay. Um. Okay, time's running out too. Maple can't get in there, right? Because she can't really swim. It's kind of crazy how she's able to dodge all this. Maybe Sally will be able to solo. If she does, I'd be super impressed. But these it's doing like little chip damages. Is it a no wait 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 the head's cut off? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I thought I mean she still lost air at the end. I am sure she'll be fine, but I thought that she couldn't do this alone. She, she fucking soloed it. That's actually really amazing. Isn't that really amazing? Okay. Sally can definitely, you know, keep her by herself too. That's good. And... Special gear for her? Just like how Maple got her gear? Nice! Yo, we both like soloed each other. Like, we both soloed one dungeon. And then got like super cool like gear too. And it kind of matches her too. 
Also, I'm not sure how she got all the skills, but uh, I'm sure that was explained in the light novel if there is one. Second level of content. We already did. I mean, do we have to do it again? That would suck. <laughs> Imagine we just cleared it, and now it's like, all right, new uh, requirement. You guys have to clear a dungeon. All the shit that we did before doesn't count. Another world become just as big as this one. Oh, shit. I mean, we barely know about this current world, but the content's expanding already. Also, okay, I forgot. She she did say Swashbuckler is an actual class. Right, right. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. It's the hardest class to play, really? What do you mean? This is how we get around. This is actually so silly that she has to, like... She is Maple's mount! Oh, more group chat, more world chat. Gossip of Maple and Sally. Oh shit, they're even hyping her up even more. And that's the episode. I was kind of looking down on Sally because I didn't know how much she could handle by herself. But she did solo a dungeon just like how Maple did in episode 1. We're seeming like two really OP dynamic duo. And the entire game, it looks like it's talking about it. They're like, oh my god, there's like two Maples now. That's kind of ridiculous. New world of content's coming out. So I guess for even more content for us in the future episodes. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, consider subscribing and checking out the other videos and playlists for even more content. And until next time, guys, take care.